the, and the, they had classrooms, well, not really classrooms. They had more like had seating areas for you to see what it looked, uh, for you to um, learn. And what they talked about in one uh, aeronautics was, uh, was the pitch, yaw, and then uh, roll. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah, go, you, go ahead. Well, I, I was going to bring my leather bomber jacket today, <laughs> you know, but um, since I thought it was steaming hot, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, I thought, why would I bring a jacket? <laughs> that was also sold at the gift shop there. That it uh, is, um, my, well, how much did it cost? At least forty-nine dollars, <laughs> but it looked real, real, very real. It had all the patches on it, and they came in all sizes, so you could get your grandson uh, some, or or your son some, whatever you want. I mentioned if uh, those are TV audience, if you just uh, turned in, uh, tuned in, why we have two students uh, from Hearn Elementary that are talking about uh, their experience at aviation camp. Uh, at this time, if we could pass the uh, uh, mic back, does uh, anyone uh, from the audience uh, that might have a question that we haven't uh, haven't uh, haven't covered here? Okay, uh, good. Comment for the young boys that if they want to continue and not wait until next year. They do have a Civil Air Patrol here in Frankfurt, and I have been a member of that. And they, if you stay in the program, they will train you, teach you to fly the plane. And if you decide to join the military, uh, it helps you to be promoted when you get out of boot camp. You already go up another level. And uh, I was in charge of, or responsible for uh, girls. We went to Oshkosh, uh, Wisconsin, and they got to perform, and they got to build uh, airplane wings and everything. So if you're really interested in flying, the Civil Air Patrol would be a great place to go and check. Um, is there K-Kids at your elementary school? Do you know? K-Kids is like key well, club. No, not that we know of. The, the grades there are second grade through fifth grade. Okay, well, when you guys get in high school, make sure you join Key Club, because it sounds like that was something awesome that you did, and you can tell a lot of people about that, because I'm in high school, and now I really want to go fly a plane, and you're in fifth grade, and you got to fly one before me, so I'm kind of jealous, but <laughs> make sure you join Key Club when you go to high school. Okay, okay. Com a comment here. You want to see? Well, the strangest thing is, you know, we were in Hornet Squad, and our school mascot is a hornet. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's great. Yeah. My question, which do you like better, taking off or landing? Hmm. Pretty much taking off. <laughs> My favorite is also taking off. Anyone else? Uh, I would mention to uh, Edie, uh, or uh, doesn't uh, uh, the Lexington Club with its uh, K, uh, K kids, don't you utilize uh, the, 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 the... Are we still sending kids to aviation camp? I don't know. I, 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 I was thinking that was what, yeah, that's, that's what, uh, quite, quite an exciting, interesting program. Is there any other, any other questions? Well, again, we certainly want to thank Chris for uh, helping us put this put this together, and I want to certainly come in and congratulate these two uh, outstanding young young students here, because I, as I say, I can think back when I was that age, uh, it would uh, disturb me terribly to have gotten before a group group like this, and we certainly want to want to come commend them and thank them. And they do have a folder up here of some literature if you would like to look look at for. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Chuck, do you have to? Okay. And certainly our, our Lieutenant, uh, Key Club Lieutenant Governor. And
President Andrew. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I do too. I wish I could have done something like that at that age. But these two young men appear to be very mature to be fifth graders. Thank you very much. Uh, you restore my faith in uh, a younger generation. No, you just reinforce it. I have grandchildren older than you, and that makes me feel old. Okay. It's great to have everybody with us today. Let me just quickly announce that all the tickets are sold, so if you got a $10 bill that you were sitting there holding just waiting to catch me, you're out of luck. So, thank you for that. Doc Newton, do you have anything to announce about whatever's going on at the East Frankfurt Club? We just completed a successful 15th year softball tournament. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Good. Well, we're glad to hear that that worked out well. It's great to have you here representing the East Frankfurt Club and our delegation from the Lexington Club and Ariel. I still think my granddaughter would have been impressed, and I was too. Thank you. All I can remember about that convention was they said, here's a cup of coffee, and I was told we need you downstairs immediately, so I left my cup of coffee uh, and took off. But we had a great time. Just want the citizens of Frankfurt to know that we love having programs in the schools. As you've already heard, we have a key club that is sponsored by, by the East Frankfurt Club at Franklin County High School. We're trying to revolve, revive, I should say, under the sponsorship of the Frankfurt Club, the one at Western Hills. There are other uh, Kiwanis-sponsored uh, programs for young people primarily designed to promote leadership. Uh, a lot of potential out there. Some of it's very young, but they're going to be grown up very soon, and we want to prepare them to take leadership in their community. So that's why we're thrilled to have our young people with us today, and parents and others who are interested in what's going on. God bless you all. Have a great day. 